good, everybody? I'm Jake, coming at you straight from the internet, and we are here in episode 8 of our Building on B-Dub's Patron Server Play series. Today, guess where we're at? We're in the Hobro's Mansion, if you don't know or you couldn't tell. There's a cat here. Um, this cat's name is Socks. I don't know whose cat it is. And, uh, oh good, it stopped, I oh, know it didn't stop snowing. Snowing outside, so we can't really show you what the outside look looks like, but you may have seen it already. It's pretty much the same from when I've showed it off before. Uh, but the inside is definitely different. We're going to take a look around today. Let's do a little bit of uh, showing off some of the guy's stuff. Uh, the people who live here are Blake, Joe Breezy, Clarified Chaos, A Hobo's Mother, and Cobra. Uh, all our rooms are here on the second floor. A lot of the interior is done by, I wanted to show this, this is Clarified Chaos, his bedroom, her bedroom, very nice. She's really good with the interior design in my opinion, and I enjoy a lot of what she did in this house. Me personally, uh, not very good at interior design, I've said that before. She did all of this room, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure she probably did all these bookshelves here, these little armor stand guys. I did the ice coming through the window. That was my contribution to the interior. And I also did the, the foundation and the roof. I'm more of a structural building kind of guy. Roofs are also one of my favorite things. Diamonds and diamond hoes. This hoe ain't loyal. It's good to know. Pennies for B-dubs. Awesome. Yeah, so let's go look at each room one by one and we'll talk about what we see. This is the foyer. We have a chandelier. Uh, what we were going for was like kind of run down. So if you look at some of the windows and stuff, they're busted out. And uh, we got some holes in the wood and whatnot. Some of the foundations cracked. So we got the crack picked in there. So we kind of got a, a abandoned feel, but we just we're not much for upkeep, you know. We're the hobros. We don't care if our windows is busted. That's why we got cobwebs everywhere too. But talking about the builds in here, I put those lights up there just because we needed more light. I did a lot of the lighting for this area because it was quite dangerous, if you ask me. Twice I saw creepers. Uh, might be hard to see. I think OBS is what's causing these little white-ish like pixels inside of the inside of the glass. But it's not bad. It's like little armor display cases, some bookshelves. Walking into the den, we have a very, very, very intricate, but not too busy desk I like it a lot I like these trap doors here for like a support for the side of the bookshelf and then you have like you know your angled supports for your the actual shelf we got some storage up there blue and white curtains we got spider problems somewhere just some music and a little jukebox corner some bookshelves next to the fireplace nice couch to chill at Awesome coffee table. Tattered rug was the idea, which is why it's missing stuff. It's a little tattered. Like I said, we don't do upkeep. Nice little plant. This one survived. That one didn't. It's because this one doesn't have its own light. This one does. It makes sense. It makes sense, guys. This is a... Grandfather clock. She said she had a different design for it. I think. Maybe. I'm not sure. 
it's like a 1.9 version of this version of the same clock I like it the way it is though either way I'm sure it looks good okay let's move into the kitchen area what's up socks nice baking oven a little cake getting in there cool fridge I like that fridge that's a nice fridge counter space area I like quartz counters that was me with the ice again and yeah dining area gotta eat mm -mm, checkers hmm now we're moving to the second floor we'll start with my bedroom since we kind of already saw over there a little bit these are Chris and George's rooms. My room. My room is quite simple. I'm a simplistic kind of guy. Everything's on the floor, including my pants. White classics. Those are good pants. If you're ever in the neighborhood, you should go check out Breezy's Britches for all your uh, lower extremity needs. They're the best. Finest pants this side of the server. Ooh, you saw inside my ender chest. Okay. Not much to see in there, because, like I said, I don't do interior design. Chris's room. Ah, yes. All you need. Suffocating beds. The best. Oh, that was George's room. Chris's room. Wow. Well, sorry I looked in there. We're not going to go into the attic. It's scary up there. Uh, we'll go in... Oh, this hallway was also clarified chaos I like it I like it I like it I like it she had proposed the idea dear to me to make this narrower and I thought she meant to like move this wall in one and I was like I feel like it would offset this way too much but I like that by building these uh, built-ins that it makes it have that kind of compartmentalized narrow hallway feel I have no idea what that string is for. I guess somebody put it in here to scare Joe. Joe's room. Looking good, Mr. Breezy. I've recorded, like, tours of this place. This is Blake's room. We just turned it into the enchanted room. Don't ask me why. I think it's because it said magic. His room of magic. <laughs> so we made it, like, the mag magician's quarters. This is the little balcony. It connects all three of the rooms on this side. It's cool, cool, cool. Now I guess we'll go to the attic and then we'll see said basement. Which both need a lot of work. There's nothing up here really. Oh, some supports. That's cool. So yeah, I did this roof. I'm not sure if uh, I sh what, how much I showed you of this because I think this is the third time I've tried to record a uh, tour of this place. The first time I had to trash the footage due to like an audio issue, and the second time I think I didn't use the footage for the video because it was running too long or something. But anyway, here's the roof that I built and decorated with snow and ice that's the cupola here's all the cobble trim and uh, yeah interesting huh anyway I think we're gonna do like a game room up here big TV nice pool table the works kind of like my basement in real life Minus the big TV. Unless you think 42 inches is big. But as far as TVs go, that's average. Damaged armor. So this is the basement. We moved our storage down here. And we got some sectioned off rooms that people can claim to do various shenanigans. Like Joe has claimed this room for... He's designated this area for the Breezy Beats. DJ and uh, hmm, exotic club, maybe. <laughs> uh, 
Yep, not much to see down here. There was... Hey, speaking of clarified chaos, there she is. There was this furnace room we set up with some anvils and stuff. And then that was it. So, eh, I know it was a short one this time, guys. Uh, we'll, we'll try to throw in some pictures here at the end of the mansion. Oh, it's, it's daytime. We can, we can do a little look-see. Here she is. Trying to get more views, guys. So, uh, like, comment, share, support. Anything you would like or feel like doing. It always helps. We do appreciate it very much over here. And by we, I mean me. But, uh... I'm sure other people appreciate it too, so might as well say we. There's the roof. You don't get too much of a shot down at the face of it from over here at a distance because uh, we wanted it to be down into a, in a valley. So it was like only accessible from certain ways or jumping off a cliff and climbing a mountain. Let's see, move my... Uh, there she is. We'll go around to this other side. Uh, that felt good. Here's one side. Some of the sides don't have as much detail as the front. Uh, that, that happens, you know. We tried to not make the whole building symmetrical, so it's a little, it's like one block different. In the middle, I think. It's like the depth of the middle area is one block different. And uh, back here, I think we were going to do a big walkout porch. Well, it's that time of the day again, guys. Where I have to say goodbye. I've had fun. I hope you've enjoyed as well. If you did, uh, please go ahead and leave me a like. It really does help out a lot. And I do appreciate it very much. But until next time, guys, peace out.